how old am I? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Also, go ahead and make sure you're following me on Instagram. I post there every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. Let's jump into today's video. So today's video, we are doing a huge haul. We're doing a torrid fall haul. Fall is definitely one of my favorite seasons and I'm super excited because I've been wanting to do a fall haul for torrid for a while now. And I actually bought this stuff a while ago, but I know a lot of it is still in the store. I know a lot of it's still online, so we're good. Let me show you guys what I bought from Torrid. Recently, I've gained a little bit of weight. I was pretty much a standard size 16. I'm a size 18 in most stores. And so I didn't have any black jeans that really fit me anymore. And especially in fall, I feel like black jeans are a big staple. And so I wanted to go ahead and get a pair of jeans. I feel like with black jeans, they fit a little bit snugger than like the darker the denim i feel like the tighter they are that's just my personal opinion i don't know if that's actually true but that's just kind of how i feel these ones are their premium i believe they're the sky high jeans i love jeans that have distressing i know a lot of people don't like them but i really like to have distressing on my jeans i don't like like plain jeans really it's not really my thing but i like these jeans a lot i like the um bombshell skinnies and i like the sky high because they are a stretchy waistband which is really nice they kind of remind me of like a maternity pair of pants but still have the button and everything but they just are a lot more stretchy and i feel like you get a better fit because they are tighter but then they stretch out a little bit too so you're not going to get like that gapping and stuff in the back these ones are the sky high skinny in black and i like them a lot and i feel like they are a staple for your fall wardrobe I have been seeing a lot of people on Instagram, like a lot of my Instagram friends have been wearing like denim tops. You guys know that I have a very love-hate relationship with button-up tops and I really want them to work for me so normally I just size up in them. This is just a plain like light wash denim top. It buttons up and everything. It's a little wrinkled because I just got it out of the washer. But um, it's really, really comfortable. It's a little bit stretchy, which is nice. I did order this one up in a size 3. I do have like a size H in my chest and so button up stuff normally doesn't tend to fit me or if it does I have to like size up a lot. This looks really cute look, with skirts. I've seen people pair them with skirts. I've seen it with like other denim like darker denim. I've seen people pair it with, with black jeans and that's one of the things I think I'm gonna do is pair it with black jeans. I think it looks really really nice. You can tuck this in. You can wear it with leggings. I've done that too. I've already worn it with leggings a few times. So the sky's the limit with this. I feel like we can pair it with a nice pair of boots and you'd be so cute in fall. I love this color a lot because you can pair it with like this orangish like mustardy color and it looks really really cute. As I said where I live it does not get really cold here until like very I'd say probably up to like November it'll start to get really cold and you need like a jacket at nighttime. I have been eyeballing this jacket on the website since like they started carrying the fall stuff. It is in that really really pretty um, they call it like pumpkin spice orange. I just really really love this color a lot. It's like a stretchy like sweatery kind of fabric but like a little bit thicker than like a sweatshirt so it's not super super hot it does zip up all the way and then it does have like a little cinchy here on the waist which the cinching part is actually metal so like that's pretty nice and then it's kind of like a little elastic rubber band here at the waist i did get this one in a size three because i am wider in my back as well and in my like shoulders and my arms and stuff so i always want to size up with jackets and stuff and I think I definitely could have probably worn a size two in this jacket but I wanted to make sure that it would be cozy and comfy you don't want jackets to be too like tight and uncomfortable so I like that this one has a hood you can roll this up and have it be like a three-quarter length sleeve which is nice and then it is really really long you don't always want a short cropped jacket and I like that this one comes past my butt it's a really nice length so I love this one a lot and I think it's gonna go with a lot of really cute stuff for fall. The next item I got isn't necessarily a fall item, but I did wanna throw this in here because I did pick it up on clearance when I was in the store recently. And it is a pair of pants. I'm gonna be traveling a lot. I'm actually going to Korea in about four days, so I'm trying to like pre-film and stuff. But um, I am gonna be on a plane a lot this year. And so I wanted to have some comfy clothes that looked cute, but I could wear on the plane so I'm not looking all mm, while I'm traveling, you know? So I got a pair of these pants. I have a pair that are similar to this. I love those pants. So these ones are really similar, but these ones are like a flowy kind of wide leg pant, which I think is really nice. It has a really pretty 
floral pattern on it but the colors I like could be worn any time of the year because you have like some pinks and reds and blues in here but you also have like the whites and cream and you also have like yellow so I feel like if you paired this with an orange top or a black top you could definitely wear this in the fall and I think it would still look really nice and I like that they have an elastic waistband because this is really really comfortable especially if you're going to be traveling they're very comfortable to wear like in the car and stuff and you still look really put together you just tuck your top in and it looks really really cute it does have a tie belt around the waist they are kind of long on me I would say like I think they're supposed to be more cropped but I'm only 5'4", so stuff doesn't normally end up being really cropped on me, but that's just the way that it is. And most of the time in tour, they don't carry a lot of items in short. You have to mostly order that stuff online. You might get lucky and they might have a few sizes in the shorts, but most of the time you're going to find regular. They do have pockets, which is another great thing that I love about them. And I'm definitely going to get my wear out of them this year. The next item that I got was another item that I got for when I went camping and I kind of got this one just because I thought it would be kind of funny. I got this t-shirt to wear with jeans and if you can if you can't see it it says only you can prevent wildfires and it has Smokey the Bear on it. I just thought this was really funny. I love this color so much. I just think it's so so cute especially for fall this color is really in and I just think it's kind of like funny and ironic I like that it has like black trim around these sleeves and then along the neck too I think that's cute and overall it's just really really comfortable I did order this one in a size 2 which normally fits me pretty great at Torrid and I just think it's really cute and funny and I like it only you can prevent forest fires the next shirt that we have so I told you I kind of went like a little bit crazy when I was shopping at Torrid recently but I'm not a huge pumpkin spice person that's just not my jam I don't know I'm not really like a big fan of it it's okay but like if I had a choice I probably wouldn't order it you know just like one of those maybe I'll order one out of the season but just not my favorite but um, I want to be one of those girls that walks around and says pumpkin spice, you know, I just want to be one of them too. I think it's kind of cute. And so I saw this top and it says that pumpkin spice life. And I just think that's really cute. Even though I don't love pumpkin spice, I feel like pumpkin spice represents fall and like the past few fall seasons. It's been like the thing. And you know, I just thought it was really cute. It's a really nice pumpkin spice orange color. I did order this one in a size three and it definitely is a little bit baggy on me. Um, I believe they didn't have it in a size two, but I still wanted to order it. And with t-shirts, it's totally fine. I could definitely wear this one with leggings and stuff because it's long enough, which I think is nice. And I just think it's really cute and comfortable. You can wear this all throughout fall and you can live that pumpkin spice life. All right, so the next item that I have is something that a lot of people wear during fall and that's me included. I normally wear like more fancy stuff. That's just kind of like my thing. I like to dress up and wear, I'm not really one for like jeans and a t-shirt or like stuff like that. That's just not really my style, but I kind of want to go more casual. And so on my casual days during fall, I thought I would get a few flannels. And so the first flannel I have is this really cool print. Um, this one is in a size three. I feel like these run a little bit small. I feel like towards button ups run a little bit small, like in the back area and like the chest when I go to button up it doesn't normally fit me and it's annoying so I did size up to a size three in this one I like their flannels a lot I think they're very comfortable I think they last for a really long time it does have a pocket over here and overall it's really nice it is long enough to wear it with leggings which is one thing I like to wear with my flannels I want to be comfortable but still look cute and I feel like this could be really cute with like a pair of like combat boots or something with a pair of leggings that'd be a really cute outfit the next item I got is another flannel. I've been really drawn to this color this year. I looked for it last year and there wasn't too many things in this color, but I really, really love the olive color. This one is just like a basic classic flannel with like the checkered print on it, but it's in that green color. It does have two pockets, which do function on both sides of the chest. And this one, again, does run a little bit small in my opinion. So I did order in a size two and it fits nicely I can definitely wear it with leggings or jeans and I think it's just a nice color and a nice piece to have for fall the last flannel that I got is in this mustard color as I said I love mustard and I wasn't joking around this one's more of a brighter yellow more of like a, a sunny yellow it's not super mustardy like that other top but 
I just thought this was really cute. I feel like it would look really adorable to wear to like the pumpkin patch or something. It just kind of reminds me of like a scarecrow. I don't know. I don't have a flannel that's like bright like this and I just really like it. And it's the same exact one as that green one with the pockets and everything. You can definitely wear it with leggings. And as I said, I did order this in a size three because I feel like the flannels run a little bit small and they're not really stretchy. So keep that in mind. So the next item that I ordered was actually an item that I ordered for when I go to London. So I'm gonna be going to London in the middle of November and it's gonna be pretty cold there. And so I've been looking for jackets. I don't have a whole bunch of jackets because like I said, where I live, it's kind of warm here still. It stays pretty warm. You don't really need a jacket. You need a jacket maybe like two months out of the year. So I just thought this would be really nice. It's not too thick of a jacket, but I feel like it'll still be like a good layering piece to wear in London. And I really like the color. I don't have very much stuff in red at all. It's not my favorite color, but recently it's been one of my favorite colors to wear. So let me show you. It is a military style jacket and it's made out of that same sort of like sweater fabric, but it's a little bit thicker than the like hoodie sweatshirt fabric. And this one has a zipper. I like that the buttons and everything are more of like a bronze, like a darker bronze, it's not like a bright gold or anything, which I think is really nice. And this one, I did order it in a size three. I always order up, like I said, in the jackets and stuff, just to make sure I have enough room for like my chest so I can zip it all the way up. But the one thing I like about this one too is it does have a hood, which I think is nice. I like how it's more of like a relaxed jacket, but then it kind of gives you like more of a jazzy look. I feel like you could dress this up pretty easily because it has the buttons on the front. It does have pockets here in the front and it's a pretty good length. It comes past my butt. I don't like when jackets are, you know, too short but i did order this one on a size three i've been looking for plain clothes these pants i've worn so many times because i'm obsessed with them they're really comfortable they're easy to throw on normally i'm a size two in torrid and these ones were a size three but they just i thought they were really cute and comfortable and they didn't have them in a size two so i just decided to get them anyways it's a pair of navy jogger pants that's what they're called i believe jogger pants they do have like a little tie waist and they do have another elastic waistband which is so comfortable so i'm going to be really cozy and comfy while i'm traveling i'm definitely going to wear these once while i'm on the plane i like that they have pockets. That's one of my favorite things about these kind of pants is that they have pockets. They do have this little detail here on the pant leg where it has like a little bit of ruching. I believe that's supposed to like make it go up a little bit higher, but on me, these pants are pretty long. They don't, they, they come down to my ankle. I think they're supposed to be more of a cropped pant, but your girl's short and so things normally that are supposed to be cropped are like the perfect length for me. Favorite kind of pants from Torrance. If you haven't tried out like their jogger or like their elastic waist, pants they're so comfortable they look really cute with shirts tucked into them this is now my third pair of pants like this and i want more because i'm obsessed with them all right we are coming down to the last item of clothing and then we do have a few accessories so if you've hung in here this long congratulations you're great the last clothing item that we have is another jacket and this one is in the color olive this one is a lot different than what I showed you earlier. It's not a sweatshirt material, definitely a thinner jacket. So this one's more of like a fall jacket, like at the beginning of fall. Um, it's a good layering piece and it's really similar to the other one. You can fold up the sleeves and have like more of a three quarter length sleeve. It does have a hood, which I love a good hood on my jackets. And I really, really like this one a lot. I wore this one a lot while we were camping and it does have like the strings that cinch in your waist. So you can get it a little bit bigger. I did order this one in a size three, just like I normally do with all my jackets from Torrid. And overall, it's a very, very nice jacket. It is really long, which I like, as I said, in jackets because you can wear them with leggings. And overall, I think this is a really nice jacket. So if it's still online, I would say definitely pick it up if you're looking for a like, layering jacket. This one's a really great one. And all right, so the next few items that I have are some accessories. So I was looking for some boots to wear while we were camping, and I didn't want to wear like more fancy boots. I kind of wanted to wear some more like camping boots, you know, like hiking style boots, but like really cute. So I found this pair on Torrid's website. I really like that they have like a little flannel panel. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty because I did wear it while I was camping in the dirt. They do have a zipper here on the side. I like that it has like the little bit of sweater fabric and it's only right here like on the edges. It doesn't continue all throughout the boot so it doesn't make your foot super sweaty. I do tend to 
size down in my boots and shoes from Torrid because I don't really have a wide, a wide foot, but I don't really have a narrow foot either. My foot is sadly in the middle, so Torrid shoes tend to be a little bit too wide for me, but then regular shoes are a little bit narrow for me. So I'm kind of like at this weird spot where I have to buy my stuff from Torrid, but it's a struggle. So with these ones, I did order them in a size eight. And in regular shoes, I normally wear about a size eight and a half. Sometimes in Torrid, I'll order a size seven and a half, but it just depends on the actual shoe. So these ones I'd order in a size eight. Order like about a half a size down to a size down in your Torrid shoes if you don't have wide feet because they do run a little bit big in my opinion. The next shoes that I got, both of these were on clearance and it was a buy one get one free when I went into when I went into Torrid recently and so I've been looking for some shoes to wear in fall and I don't have any and so the first pair I picked up are these super cute, I believe these are called like loafers and normally with Torrid shoes I try to buy the ones that don't have a back on them because I feel like they may fit my foot a lot better. I don't like flats that have like a back on them because my foot ends up like moving around in it and I get a blister and stuff. So I like the ones that don't have backs. I have a few pairs that don't have backs on them. These ones are in a size seven and a half. How fall is this shoe? Like look at the pattern in here. We have some plaid in here. That's adorable. I love the color of this shoe too. I don't have anything in this color. Um, it's like a more of a caramely kind of like pumpkin-y spice color, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. And so I just think this shoe is really, really cute. And it can be worn with like jeans. That's how I've been wearing it is with like my jeans or with my black jeans. I think it looks adorable and it's the perfect little shoe for fall. The next pair of shoes I haven't worn yet, but I wanna find like the perfect outfit to wear them with. But I just thought they were really cute. They were also on clearance. It's just like this really, really orange. These ones are more of like a caramel color and then these ones are more of like a reddish orange more of like that ready brick color you know i love this color so much that's what attracted me to this shoe i'm really into the pointy toe i know a lot of people don't like it my husband hates them whenever i wear them but i like them and so i'm gonna wear them but i thought this one was cool because it had like the little like cutout detail right here it just adds a little bit of extraness to your shoes these ones are in a size eight so they run a little bit big on me so I have to like wear like a band-aid on the back of my foot or my foot like scrapes but stay tuned to my instagram to find out how i decide to style them but you guys know that i'm a hat girl and um are you ready for this this is the total cutest fall hat ever look how cute it's like a panama hat but it's like more of a floppy style and so normally i wear like the shorter brimmed ones but i just thought this one was so freaking cute and then it has that pumpkin-y orange color like my shoes on the brim of the hat like that is so freaking cute and it looks so adorable with so many outfits for fall it's a little bit big on my head but you guys know i do wear like wig toppers a lot and so it makes my head a little bit thicker and so i normally go up to like the larger size so normally they have like a i think it's like a extra small small and then a medium large and so i always go with the medium large for my hats so that I can account for my wig toppers that I have a little bit of extra room so it's not scrunching on my head, you know? If you guys can pick this hat up, definitely pick it up. But if you have a smaller head, I think that maybe go with like the smaller one of these ones. I feel like it kind of runs a little bit big. So if it's windy, it's gonna definitely get caught in the wind. The last item that I got is also one of my favorites and I'm actually wearing it right now. It is this necklace. It's actually a super nice necklace. It's made really, really well. It's like really sturdy. It's made out of metal, which is nice. And it has little like gold pieces on it. Like, let me sit forward and show you guys. This is so freaking cute. It is so fall. I love all the colors in it. And I normally don't buy a whole lot of jewelry from like Torrid or like Forever 21 and stuff just because it's normally like cheaper. But I feel like this necklace right here is great, great quality. I think it looks really cute with so much fall stuff. If you guys see this online, I would say definitely pick it up because it's pretty great. It's pretty good quality. I don't think it's gonna break very easily. So definitely pick up this necklace if you like it. Okay guys, so that was everything that I got from Torrid. What do you guys think about this haul? It definitely was a pretty big haul. I've been accumulating this stuff over the past few months. I will have all the things that I could find linked down in the description box below. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you guys wanna shop it. Are you guys excited for fall? Is it your favorite season? Like it's my favorite season? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday. 
Make sure you're also following me on Instagram. I post there pretty much every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. I will see you guys in my next video. And as always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful. And toodles for now.